Hello everyone, my name is Gosia Makinen and I'm Independent Stamping App Demonstrator. Uh, today I have a for you very very useful tips. I will show you how to turn your stamping scrap to stamping Misty. So please stay with me and you will see how to do it. So let's get started. So there is the uh, stamping scrap. And I would like to tell you the story how I come with the idea to turn stamping uh, scrap to stamping Misty. So on, the, on our catalog, on the page 183, I put a little bit zoom on to show you. There you have a stamping mist and a stamping scrap and I'm just thinking uh -oh. this is a great idea to put that thing together I mean just the words <laughs> so I'm coming with the stamping mist misty so put the zoom back now and I show you what to do there is the stamping scrap and what we need to do when you open the stamping scrap you have a two sides so you need to take that out from the both sides and turn okay like that and then what you need to do just take a um, washi tape or any tape and um, stick to, together all around I show you I have another one as I'm using that one as my stamping scrap and that one I use as my misty so when I open my one, it's look like that. So actually I put, you put the zoom that way. So what I did, I put um, tape all around here, just keep that together. And also I put washi tape here. I put the three, three layers and then make a, a here um, the corner as a 90 degrees. So what I did here, I put the three layers like that. This is gonna be my fourth layer now. So just like that. Sorry, I need to put my head. So put like that, one side. And another one side. Okay, and like I say, I put the three layers, right now it's four layers, and that because when you take it, a piece of paper, you can feel the corner like that, so you can keep your card on the same uh, position. So I will uh, show you now how it's working. And I have it here uh, like piece three by three uh, Whisper White cardstock. So I just put, of course it's not magnetic, it's not metal, so as um, magnet it's not going to be working. So I just using washi tape, but it's very easy. And I'm going to use now this stamp set, birthday blooms, and I'm going to use the flower and for you. So say we'll take the flower and I want to put the flower here and I take it for you because I, for example, want to make a few cards and I would like to my design look like so. So, when you close, you actually pick the stamps. So, this is not really straight, so I can just make sure it's straight. Okay. And, okay, I'm gonna take now... Um, say David of the Light and I would like to just uh, make the top of the flower um, yellow like I show you I used to make that card so I would like to do the uh, same colors so okay and take a scrap of paper so I'm gonna cover the top of the and I'm going to it up so 
like that and I have at the top of the flower and so I'm gonna now remove and because I want to do two, two, two of the cards so and I put another one and do the same just a scrap of paper just to cover the rest of the flower and again lovely I take a baby wipe and next I'm gonna take the pure pizar and I would like to do now rest of the flower with the pure pizar so this time I'm cover just the top and I'm gonna also do my sentiment in the same green so just ink up look how beautiful and easy is that and now I take my another one card and just do the same so I'm gonna ink up the rest of the flower again and my sentiment okay and I'm gonna close and that is it and okay so I'm gonna wash now that and that is um, two cards done so and I for example decide now I would like to use my Versa mark because I will emboss the picture so just simply use Versa mark on your picture and just put again and I'm going to take my clear embossing powder and just do and I'm going to heat up now but I'm going to switch off the camera and coming back in a second okay I'm coming back and I'm not sure if you, probably you can see so yeah so that how you can use a stamping list now with um, watercolor um, paper so that is watercolor paper we're gonna put water oops watercolor paper here so like that I'm gonna maybe use one more okay and I'm gonna back to the same stamping up stamping up <laughs> same uh, stamp set the birthday blooms and I'm gonna use the big image which is the rosy and I would like to put the rosy there so okay I pick it the stamp and I'm gonna use sweet sugar plum and I'm gonna pick up image stamp and of course this is watercolor paper so we need to do again I think it's not oh, I didn't that's better okay and if it's not enough just do one more time and you're gonna have a nice and crisps 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 image <laughs> so yeah the house working beautiful so we're gonna clean that up and I show you one more one more thing so now I would like to show you the photopolymer. I'm gonna take the watercolor wings and I'm take a cardstock. So and we just use the washi tape to keep that in the position. You can put just in the two corners, you can put in the three corners. 
and we take um, first the full first picture and I would like to be my butterfly say there so we close we pick the stamp okay and I take a pink pirouette and just ink up my image okay of course I didn't ink that properly so we do again that is better so that is the first and we take uh, the another one so the next one we'll take uh, that one so we'll layer on the top I need to put my head on so I know how it's working right we we'll again pick the and we also would like to put sentiment so I put my sentiment here I would like my sentiment there okay so I'm gonna pick my sentiment now and we gonna take um, pumpkin pie this time and we gonna ink the butterfly and we are going to do half half of the word half of the sentiment you are so okay so that is done you are and I'm gonna clean now and take off and I'm gonna use the bed stamp for the butterfly again we need to layer up I need to put my head on okay pick the stamp and this time we're gonna use a say calypso coral so we're gonna use now calypso coral for that one and we gonna use again for another one half of the word calypso coral just to keep it on the place And we're gonna close. And the house working. Of course, uh, the butterfly need to have uh, the uh, body, so you can just use the body just to put if you would like. Uh, oh, not that way. <laughs> But for me, it's working perfect, and I hope it's gonna be per working perfect for you. So we're gonna take that off. Oops, I just picked that with my card, but doesn't matter because we have the corner. So we just put back in the corner because the photopolymer are more sticky. So make sure your uh, tape is quite good put on so um, what we're gonna do say pumpkin pie okay so put back and voila that is how working and for example now you decide uh, put um, embossing powder here so you just take uh, the, the um, sentiment again hope you make sure is a clean and oops 
and if you like to emboss just put back like that and pick the sentiment and just use Versa mark and just to put back so yeah and just take a and I make a mess here because I leave a little bit here I try to be quick so there it was my um, stamping so yeah just take an embossing powder and just put oops put embossing powder and emboss again just use the heat tool of course I'm not gonna use that because we don't have a time so okay so I hope that is very very helpful for you I hope you're gonna give a try please try if you don't have a stamping up demonstrator just go to my online shop and purchase um, that stamping uh, scrap and the turn to um, stamping mist misty and uh, yes so thank you very much for watching me and have a great time bye